let me take you through how to order a quantum business card. So we're on 3xmsolution.com on the homepage and we're going to, we're logged in and we're going to click on quantum up in the top nav and click buy quantum business cards. So this is where you're going to add a quantum business card to your cart. As you can see, we've got three different price options, your business card staying live for one year, two years or three years. Now after this time, don't worry, you will be given the option to extend it, but this is to get you started. So let's choose a three year business card and simply click add to cart. Now we navigate up to the cart and you can see we have a quantum business card in our cart. Now what you need to do is click on the quantum tab and this is where you will fill out branding information for this quantum business card. So the reference basically if you just give it a name so you can identify it in your quantum dashboard when you go to it. So we'll give it the name, say this is a business card that we're selling to a headshot client. So we're going to give it a name. And then if you need additional copies of the exact same business card that will go to the exact same digital business card, you can choose different options here. But for most people, they just need one copy of the business card. Now this quantum sleeve branding, so this is the black cardboard holder that holds the card when you present it to your client, and this can be branded as well. So to add branding to this sleeve, you just click the green button here, and there are two different types of branding. You've got foil, which is available in numerous colors, and looks really really good or you can choose print which is in white print because it's going on a black card so we're going to go for foil because it looks great and we're going to go for a silver foil now if you want to upload new artwork for this you can choose upload new sleeve artwork simply drag it on and upload but if you want to have your own logo on it you probably have it already uploaded so you can reuse that and just select it from the drop down so that's the preview of it there now we move on to the quantum card branding. So as you can see, we've got, we can brand both sides of the card, the front and the back. You can choose different orientations for the card. So you can have it in portrait or landscape. You can either have one side portrait and one side landscape. It's entirely up to you. And again, we have no artwork uploaded for it yet. So let's go ahead and add artwork for this business card. So we're gonna just simply drag it on to the, actually that is a portrait design. So I'm just gonna change it to portrait. So we've dragged it onto the uploader and we're going to hit upload. Now you can see this is a preview of what the card will actually look like. This is for a real estate agent. And on the reverse then we're going to select portrait and we're going to drag the design for the back of the card onto it. So as you can see we're going to keep the back of it very simple and the reason why we've left a space here is because I want to add a QR code onto it as well so I'm going to position it bottom center. So the QR code is basically a backup if someone doesn't have NFC enabled on their phone the person can simply scan the QR code instead. So that's why we've included it there. You can set different positions for the QR code obviously it will depend on what your design is and that's why bottom center is perfect for this one here. So you can see we've kept the design very simple. We have her logo, her headshot, her name, um, her title and her phone number on one side and then the QR code on her logo again on the back. So once that's done you simply hit update quantum card and as you can see now we've completed all of the sections for quantum and you can see the tab has now turned green. So once you're happy with everything, that everything looks good, make sure you double check that you're happy with how everything looks. This is exactly how it's going to be produced on the card itself. You simply then proceed to checkout and follow the instructions from there to complete the purchase.